This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Pico Iyer on his new novel. Indian Ocean releases an album. And a tribute to Balwant Gargi. I can pose with Gandhi or become Gandhi. It's the oldest street trick in the world. Photographer Ram Rahman opens an exhibition of photographic cutouts and backplots in Delhi this weekend. Visitors to the show can pose against any of these, but there's more to the story than that. <laughs> For more than 20 years, photographer Ram Rahman has been prowling the Indian streets in search of posters and graffiti. His series of black and white pictures pulsate with all the drama and the humor of filmy hoardings and political cutouts. Ironic close-ups that bring us face to face with the fantasy of pop painters. Spurred by curiosity, Rahman has now created special hoardings and cutouts of icons like Gandhi, the Queen of England, soccer star David Beckham, and his mother, the famous dancer Indrani Rahman. A gallery space showing his photographs has become an interactive space for viewers to pose and be photographed in. Is that the right pose? Well, I've been photographing um, the streets of India for many years, and I've always been fascinated by the layering of imagery that one finds, religious, political, social, and the kind of people's commentary that we seem to create around us. Ram uh, has a different way of looking at things, childlikely, mischievously, and searching for elements which are provocative and evocative. Uh, which are commonplace elements, but bring into focus uh, those which become powerful visual elements with a uh, lot of humor. The timing of Ram Rahman's three-dimensional show may just be right. Raza Abbas, who has painted film hoardings for years, says demand for his art is rapidly falling. <laughs> क्योंकि आज कोई नई टेक्निक आ गई हैं वहाँ विनाइल्स वगैरह बनते हैं पेंटिंग्स भी उनकी सीनरीज भी विनाइल किया जाती हैं लोग पेस कर लेते हैं तो कुछ तो काम कम ही तो टाइटल्ड कटआउट्स फोटो स्टूडियो द शो इज़ ऑन अंटिल मई सेवेंथ एंड अ चांस फॉर विजिटर्स टू ऑब्जर्व एंड बी क्लिक्ड इन � and now for the rest of the week's top stories on Limelight. From the captains of the catering industry to the country's leading hoteliers down to the street side chatwala, everybody connected with India's culinary corner came. A glittering gala of an evening saw India's first food awards being given to Delhi's 15 top restaurants. Award for best European restaurant goes to the Orient Express. Celebrating the launch of Delhi's first city food brand, over a thousand eateries from cafes to confectionaries, from Thai, Italian and Japanese to everyone's favourite South Indian spot. Researched extensively and slickly packaged, the Times Food Guide has rooted out an astonishing number of places. I think eating out is a passion that most Delhiites have. And but when we were compiling the whole thing, you know, I thought of this idea. We have the uh, Film Fair Awards, we have the Femina Miss India Awards, and I thought it would be interesting to add awards for good food. You're honouring restaurants, you're honouring, you know, food. Food is the most important thing, isn't it? So um, here's an award for people who produce that food that we eat. I think it's, it's, it's fantastic. Sponsored by a leading national daily, the evening was liberally spiced with famous faces. Film stars, the fashion frat, and of course the ardent food enthusiasts. An elegant sit-down dinner was topped off with award-winning fare. Overflowing plates and third helpings were definitely the main order for the night. Food be, be the music of love. Eat on, eat on. 
इट्स अ ग्रेट एफर्ट और मैं समझता हूँ कि हर साल ऐसा होना चाहिए आई थिंक एवरीबडी हु इंजॉयज फूड इज आउट एंड देर लॉर ऑफ मीट that is associated with food and i look at milan and i think of meat so it's a great occasion <laughs> everything you wanted to know about food and didn't know who to ask is now available at a bookstore near you with sunil sethi and nisha beg and dtv 247 sponsored by samsung the digital technology company The fifth Legends of India musical concerts opened in Delhi on Friday night. The first performers were classical vocalist Ustad Rashid Khan and flautist Hari Prasad Chaurasia. Rashid Khan, who has lately experimented with fusion music, says he is happy to return to a purest form. फ्यूशन वो तो एक शौक था मेरा तो असली काम तो ये है वो तो एक शौक में कर दिया मुझे जितना प्यार अपने शास्त्रीय संगीत से है वो फ्यूशन कन्फ्यूशन तो इतना लगाव नहीं ठीक है हो गया कर दिया ठीक है अब ये ऐसा युग आया है कि थोड़ा सा लोग चेंज लाना चाह रहे हैं जो हमारी जो नई पीढ़ी है वो देख रही है कि इसके साथ में वो मिला दिया जाए एक मतलब एक लड़के को लड़की बना दिया जाए या लड़की को लड़का बना दिया जाए या घोड़े को गधा बना दिया जाए ये एक फ्यूज़न का आया है अब ये कब तक रहेगा ये तो मुझे मालूम नहीं और ये बहुत जल्दी चला जाएगा कुछ ऐसी हवाएँ होती हैं जो कि बहुत पवित्र हवा आती है और उसका बहुत आनंद मिलता है लेकिन बीच बीच में कुछ ऐसी कुछ एक ऐसी हवा भी आ जाती है लेकिन वो भी चली जाती है तो ये जो आया है वो चला जाएगा वो समय ज़्यादा नहीं रहेगा Legends of India concerts continue over the weekend with a major lineup of musicians including Louis Banks, Shivmani, Parveen Sultana and El Subramaniam. In New Delhi with Rajeshri Singh, Amrita Chatterjee, NDTV 24/7. The theater department's amphitheater at Punjab University in Chandigarh It was set up in the 70s by the Punjabi playwright Balwant Gargi who died last week at the age of 87. Gargi was born in a dusty backwater in the Malwa heartland of Bhatinda but projected himself onto the center stage of theater. He was responsible for pushing Punjabi drama to the forefront. Balwant Gargi started writing when he was 21. His plays include Loha Kut, Duni the Ag Kanak the Balli Sultan Razia and Rang Manch which won him the Sahitya Kala Academy award in 1962. He wrote novels as well. Widely read and traveled, charming and colorful, he brought a whiff of fresh air to a stuffy North Indian milieu. What was so wonderful about him was he was a cosmopolitan person. So he had all kinds of friends from from Ilya Kazan the famous director to Pablo Neruda who visited his house in Delhi to the small little house at the back of Curzon Road lane um tiny little courtyard but it became a significant center of all kinds of art activities he was very down to earth person i mean you know his the books that he wrote apart from punjabi play plays and art you know india on indian theater folk theater of india his book on folk theater is a, is one of the best uh, so far i mean most readable most informative and uh, very well documented in terms of photographs in, in terms of you know illustrations balwan gargi quoted controversy his autobiography and his pen portraits of punjabi literary figures 
earned him so much notoriety that he was never again welcome in the drama department he had set up. But his plays live on, remarkable for their strong portrayals of women characters. He actually for the first time talked about woman as a physical entity who thought about her world of desire, thought about her body, thought about her sexual needs. So in a certain way it was quite radical for that time. Um, so I think his basic contribution was that he gave an uh, inner life to his female characters. He slowly faded from public gaze after being afflicted by the Alzheimer's disease. His will specify that his death not be mourned. In Chandigarh, Swati Maheshwari, NDTV 24-7.